Moving on to other vets that are controversial who may come back this week. Quan Alexander. Is it a good thing if he plays in this game? It's the phrasing good or bad. I'm not necessarily a fan of. I prefer Dre Greenlaw to play in this game. I want him to start. But again, anytime you can have a chance to get healthy with the way that the 49ers players have been dropping like flies. If you have the opportunity to suit up, go ahead and do that because you don't know. One snap, one of the linebackers can get hurt. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but Dre Greenlaw deserves to start this game. He should play alongside of Fred Warner. He had two of the biggest plays of the year last year in overtime, although it didn't amount to much when he picked off Russell Wilson in the red zone. Then, he, of course, you have the stop in Seattle. So Dre Greenlaw should just take Quan Alexander's starting spot. And, of course, the roster politics behind it with Quan Alexander making significantly more money than Greenlaw is the reason why that hasn't occurred yet. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but if it impacts Greenlaw starting this game, it's unfortunate. Yeah, listen, I, I want to like Quan Alexander. I, I love what he does in the locker room. I think he's an awesome person. He gets the team hyped up. I think that's great. His heart coming back to this play in the Super Bowl after that injury, way ahead of schedule. Love everything about Quan. On the field, I'm really down on Quan. I mean, the missed tackles, the, the bad angles, he seems stiff to me. He seems he just plays like very upright, and guys just get out of his grasp so easily. And when they first signed him, there was a narrative out there that, yeah, he misses a lot of tackles, but he's so fast that he gets to those ball carriers quicker and he, you know, disrupts the play and I was on board with that for a while but the more I watch it I see what the frustrated Buccaneers fans saw toward the end of his tenure there and he he frustrates me at times watching the games yeah I think yeah. you said that perfectly you took the words out of my yeah. mouth basically <laughs> I have a signed Quan Alexander jersey that I'm trying to give away and it seems like no one oh. really wants it and okay, and, and that just be, that just I know you want that just speaks on what we see um, based on our televisions or what you see from the press box. It's, yeah, he he could go sideline to sideline, but are you doing it efficiently? No, it, it's not happening, and you'd rather go with a safer guy like Drake Greenlaw. And something I ask myself constantly, that play in Seattle, the Greenlaw stop, does Quan Alexander do that? I don't think Hell he does. No. I don't think he does. Honestly, I don't think he does. And that's why I like having Greenlaw out there so much more. And it just shows, build for your future. Quan, you're probably cutting him after this year. He yep. just doesn't fit the cap. So if you're cutting him after the season, don't look at his salary. Start the better player and invest in your future. Maverick. I know a lot of people hate Quan just because of the money, but I think he has the potential to remain a top four linebacker on this team. I'm not saying he's top two. I think definitely Trey Greenlaw and Fred Warner are the two guys. And then in the three linebacker scenarios, I like Aziz Al Shair for now. And but you need that fourth linebacker. Yes, if, you do. If someone gets hurt, they're one snap away from Demetrius Flanagan fouls or Joe Walker being out there, who are both I think preferred special teams guys, going more safeties at linebacker. I think Quan, if he's able to go, I think he'll be active, but it'll be a, a pitch count scenario. And then if there's an injury, he gets on the field. But I think he, he will, when he's fully healthy, he will be one of those three guys. But for now, he's the fourth guy. That's a great nah. answer. I like that answer. I, to me, Quan Alexander is the best. He's the best fourth linebacker in the league, by far. There's, there's no question about it. But I don't even, I prefer Aziz Al Shayer. I got to say, I thought he looked, I thought he looked, like another one of these young, athletic, undrafted guys that the Niners have developed. I mean, they just don't do not miss with these guys. And now he's in his second year. Usually the undrafted guys, not the running backs, but everyone else, they need a year. He's in his second year. He looks good, good. I would stick with Aziz al uh Dre Greenlaw, and Fred Warner. And my issue with Quan Alexander is I feel like this is the kind of game he could lose for you because Russell Wilson doesn't scramble around a lot. But when he does, it's going to be Quan Alexander's fault that he's running around down the field. I, I mean, not it's going to be Quan's fault. That's what he does. It's like he has a feeling, oh, wait, he was wrong. That's your guy. So I, I just feel like against the Seahawks where everyone's been working so hard 
to contain quarterback. I mean, look at Eric Armstead. He really has been doing a great job the last few weeks after I got on him. He needed to hear it, but he heard it. He's been containing quarterbacks. God knows if Quan does. I, I haven't been able to have the same effect and impact on Quan. He's kind of in his own world. I don't think he checks Twitter. Or maybe he does. I don't know.